Welcome to Authentication Lab. This is Ashokan. We're going to see how the firewall gives authentication. See in this particular uh, diagram, the corporate office is here. There are a lot of users here 10.10, .10, 20, 30, so many systems, so many users have been created. And the firewall is giving security, and the firewall is going to authenticate the users from here any user from the corporate office if you want to access any resources over the internet the firewall is going to authenticate them so we are going to see what are all the details in the uh, authentication process I close this and I open the other diagram which precisely talk about the authentication overview see in the checkpoint authentication there are three types of uh, authentication user authentication client authentication session authentication there are three different authentication process we can configure on the system on the firewall where user authentication client authentication session authentication has a lot of other configurations now why do we need first of all the various types of these authentication the reason for why we need user and client and session authentication is that if you take the user authentication the user authentication is not available for all the services it is available only for http ftp telnet and r login that means on a on a firewall if you configure on a firewall say in this particular firewall if you configure user authentication then apart from http uh, http ftp telnet and r login no other services you will be able to or that particular user will be able to access so there should be some mechanism that the user should be able to access other services as well so we have the client authentication and session authentication also now the client authentication is available for all the services session authentication is also available for all the services once we configure all these things and see in the lab only then it will be very easy for you to understand what is the difference between client authentication and session authentication whether we choose client or session or user which one is better or best it all depends on what is the the um, corporate requirement it is not that this is good and that is bad whatever your corporate requirement demands you can go accordingly so in the user authentication http ftp telnet and r login services only can be configured or the user can access only these services if user authentication is configured on the firewall if the client authentication is configured on the firewall then you can go for you can access all the services including http ftp telnet r login all the services you can access session authentication is all the services but again for the uh, session authentication you need a session agent to be installed it's a small software that should be installed on each and every client system in the client authentication there are a lot of uh, ma sign on methods by default the manual sign on method is there part partially automatic fully automatic and agents only these are some of the various sign on methods client authentication manual sign on client authentication partially automatic client authentication fully automatic and client authentication agents only this is how we uh, uh, we should understand that now for the manual sign on method there is you have to explicitly talk to the firewall and get yourself authenticated we are going to see all these things but to give an overview authentication has user client and session authentication configurations user authentication will permit one person or the user to access http ftp telnet and r login only client authentication provides all the services session also provides all the services I'm going to minimize the screen and this I'm going to close and I go to the dashboard this is a firewall administrator is Ashokan password is EASDF and uh, since this is a standalone installation I don't have a smart center servers in a separate uh, system 
127.0.0.1 that is a loop back address I am giving is a OK. This is the fingerprint. If at all we copied this no certificate printing. If at all if you want to say uh, EROS late if this is the thing you want to check then uh, you can check with this. See right click and open with say uh, notepad or wordpad notepad OK then you will see this you can C E R O S L A T E B I T that is the thing here actually you can check up or uh, if somebody else is handshaking you can find it out I approve this fingerprinting there we go this is the smart dashboard what we need to create is first of all the users I create I go to manage and see uh, before that I would like to give an overview see uh, you can start see rule add rule at the bottom here this is where you will write see this is the default rule this is known as rules in checkpoint we say it's rules and in Linux you can IP chains in so many other ways IP chains rules filters in Microsoft so many terminologies we need to we understand that so, but in checkpoint firewall we learn this as rules the rules permit or drop uh, permit or not permitting the person to access the resources across the internet now see there is a source destination service and action these four columns will concentrate now because the VPN when we talk about the VPN la VPN topic we will come back here source destination service and action by default if you put a, a line like this I mean a rule like this any source any destination the packet is getting dropped this is what the initial policy of checkpoint firewall the initial policy is any any drop that means the firewall will never ever see here the firewall will not accept the once the firewall comes up it will not communicate from uh, so this from the inside to outside or outside to inside it's not unless until you write explicitly explicitly if you go to the firewall explicitly if you say right click and accept then any source any destination for any service it will accept that is what the first rule this is how we modify now we leave it like this let us create some users manage users and administrators new user by template default template I'm using a default template to create the users this is the um, I mean template to create the users I cancel this then come once again close this see manage users and administrators new user by template I create a user name say Smith Smith and authentication see the authentication schemes you can create the user in a secure ID checkpoint uh, database itself or an operating system or in a radius or TACAC server wherever they are you can integrate into the software firewall in checkpoint firewall now I create the user Smith in checkpoint firewall it's a checkpoint has its own database the user is going to be created there and I give the password ASDF for easy reference ASDF I say OK Smith has got created now I want to create one more user say Jane and uh, say checkpoint password for her also ASDF and ASDF I say ok I create one more user name say um, say Radhika R-A-D-H-I-K Radhika and she is also from the checkpoint password ASDF ASDF I provided the password ASDF and confirmed it for all the users for you to understand it perfectly I say ok and three users are there I say close if at all three users are there see this is the user tab here this is the network and this is services so many tabs are the network services and resources all that is there in manage also if you click manage you will see the services resources users and all that either this way you can go or this way you can I click here the users and there is a user group actually so 
if at all you have so many, or if at all you have only one user to be accessed, you must have a user group. You have to put them into a user group. Only then it is possible to access, to give access. Right click, new group. I say this is executive groups. And who, Jane is the member, Smith is the member. I say, okay. Sorry. Executive group. I say, okay. Now the executive group is a one group is got got created. Right click here, edit, and two two members are there. Radhika, though he is the use the user exists in the database, she is not the member of this particular user group. I say okay. Now, how will I define the source? The source will be the executive. So right click. I should select this add user access, and I should select the executive group here. I say OK and executive group at any executive group at any means if you right click the executive and edit you will know that how many people are there instead there are two people I say OK so this is the source the any means anywhere in the local network there is 10.10, 10, 20, 30. Any user can go to any systems and they can talk. Come When the packet comes here, when they give the user credentials, the firewall checks the user credential with its own database. And if it is there, it will permit or deny. That is why the any means. Now, destination anywhere in the internet, it can be. We'll forget this uh, VPN. We'll discuss this later. Service is any service. I, it is say HTTP. If you say any service, it won't work. You can say HTTP. There are a lot of services here. I close this. I cancel this. See in the services, if I right click and say add, there are a lot of services here already predefined. See how many services are there? A lot of services are there. These services are already pre configured with the respective port number allotted to that. Say, for example, HTTP. HTTP, I edit port number 80 is there already so like that everything is configured in this you you have to simply select it so right click add say FTP okay so FTP service can be enough. that means anybody among this particular group in this particular group if Jane and how many people are there two people Jane and Smith, either Jane or Smith both of them can access any destination for FTP service and the user authentication there are three things user authentication client authentication and session authentication we go for the user authentication now and you can log this as well so once the uh, rule has been formed like this source is the uh, the exit the group destination any access i can even say ftp another say http service as well Okay, so HTTP service as well, I'm able to access. I should be able to access, user authentication should be asked. Once we have written this rule like this, this is one rule permitting these people to any destination for accessing these two services, ask for user authentication. This must be the action. Now, I, in, I should install the policy. I should say policy install. Once I install the policy, okay so it is getting in I should say okay to get it installed once I say okay when it is getting installed what happens it is getting installed in the management server module whatever rules you write here and you install it you can even press this particular button to get it installed and it will get installed in the management server see installation completed with warnings what is the warning let's see what is warning why it is warning it says that anti spoofing is not configured what is anti spoofing? I close here. I close this. Anti spoofing is see, this is my checkpoint system. Right click and edit, and I go to the topology section here. And the topology section says that 10 network, I know about 10 network and 20 network, but I do not know which one is my outer interface and which one is my inner interface. So if you see the diagram here, if you do the anti-spoofing, anti-spoofing is nothing but telling the firewall that this is your outer interface and that is 20.1. This is your inner interface and that is 10.1. And through this interface, if somebody coming claiming that 20.0.0.100, uh, .0 .0 don't allow because he must be 
he that that particular IP address must have been spoofed so this spoofing should be anti spoofing you should enable once you enable anti spoofing the firewall will understand what is my outer interface what is my in inner interface like that I minimize this and say get topology how do I come here I close here I cancel this once again I'll come right click my firewall uh, system edit and I go to the topology topology and I get interface with topology I say yes it says it suggests to me that 20 network is your external network 10 network is your internal network can I accept this it is suggesting see go to see the diagram 20 is your external and 10 is your internal this is correct since it is correct I can say accept once I give accept here then the IP address behind the gateway it will change it is it is undefined now once I say accept it changes now I say ok and if I install this also you can use to install the policies if I install the policy once again then it will definitely get installed without the warning let's see that okay so it got installed completed completed successfully now uh, what I should do I go to my I minimize the screen and I go to accessories communications remote desktop I take the remote desktop of 10.0.0.10 that means I'm in the firewall I'm going to take this particular system remotely so that in this firewall we can see from here we can access this 30.10 and let's see what's happened I minimize this and I'm going to connect this is my system right click properties 20.1 see this is my system that is my firewall and I close this I'm going to connect 10.10 yeah I got connected I give the password I say I go into that this is uh, this is 10.10 .10 system I've taken the remote desktop this particular window is the other system where if you can right click and see I, this is I disable this is not connected it's not necessary and say right click and edit it is 10.10 .10 system or if you really want to make sure you can come down go to the run prompt there and see IP config I say enter it is 10.10 .10 system and in the 10.10 .10 system in the 10.10 .10 system that is where am I I am in the see the diagram I am in the 10.10 .10 system and the user authentication is configured here and from here Smith wanted to access the services running here in the google.com maybe 30.10 there's an HTTP server which is running he wants to access the HTTP server so when he wants to access the HTTP server the user authentication will be asked by the firewall once you give the user credentials he should be able to access this let's see this a, the HTTP server and the FTP server both are running in this particular system I minimize this and I say FTP I say CD backslash enter I say clear the screen I say FTP 30.0.0.10 I say enter so it's connects it's asking me the way in which we have to give there is a syntax the syntax is I say anonymous a in anonymous at uh, Smith at 30.0.0.10 I say enter and I have to give the password password at password I say uh, a at the rate of ASDF I have